Hi, I am Donald J. Bell, and I am a CASDM analyst. In this video, I will showcase the enhancements included with the latest release of XFlow interface. The XFlow interface now provides the ability to reorder your streams as per your preference. Based on your preference, you can now move or reorder your streams in the ticket pane. Earlier today, I had created this stream and I want to move it to the top so that this is the first thing that I can see when I log in for the day. I select this stream and drag and drop it to the top as this is where I want to place it. The streams that matter to you most can be moved to the top or any place of your choice in the tickets pane. You can now attach a file along with a manual notification. Select a ticket from the card view or the list view. This option is also available in the Tickets Details page. Click Open the Notify option and here you have the Attach a File option. I will select this file and attach it to a ticket. So, this is how you can attach a file to a manual notification. The multifaceted search bar of the XFlow interface now provides the ability to create a new contact. This is like a new launch point to create a new contact from the interface itself. So, I will go ahead and type a suggested contact name in the search bar. The moment, I type in a suggested contact name, the create new contact option is displayed. This is the create new contact page information and you use this page to create a contact as you have been creating in CASDM. For this demonstration, I have created Alicia Smith as a new contact. We can go ahead and search for Alicia in the XFlow interface. So, here we have Alicia as a new contact. Now. You can also create a new ticket for Alicia. This method of creating a new contact demonstrates how you can create contacts locally in CASDM using the XFlow interface. The XFlow interface also provides you the ability to perform some real quick actions on a ticket from the Tickets Details page. Let's click open this ticket. So, this is a new attribute that has been added. You can now add a category to a ticket. The categories can be anything from application, network, hardware, and so on. You now also have the option to add a comment to a ticket from the comment tab. Earlier, you had to use the command bar for the same. You can also transfer a ticket, view details for a ticket, and also follow up on a ticket. So, these are some of the quick actions you can perform on a ticket. At one go through the Tickets Details page. Few usability enhancements too have been provided in the XFlow interface. You can now view a workflow process attached to a ticket from the Tasks pane, instead of launching the Tickets Designer from the Tickets Timeline. You can see the end-to-end -end process defined for a workflow. You can click open a process to see the details for it. You can see the status, completed by, assignee, and so on for a defined workflow process. Earlier, there was no way to differentiate an old ticket from a KB solution provided in the suggested solution pane for a ticket. This is an old or a closed ticket that has been opened and submitted as a solution for this ticket. If I scroll down, I can see that there are a few KB or knowledge base articles, also provided as solution for this ticket. So, this is how you can differentiate an old ticket from a KB article by means of different icons provided in the suggested solutions pane. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.